Retro Rob plays everything. Hey Rob here and this is a pre-video warning. The contents of this video involve flashing the firmware on your GPD XD. This can result in an untimely death. Please follow the instructions exactly as they are displayed and do not try to cut corners. This could result in really bad things happening. Also, please make sure you know what you really want to achieve by doing this. If you don't have a goal in mind, don't flash your firmware. Even if you follow these instructions exactly, there's a very slight chance that you could brick your GPDXD. If that happens, I have an unbricking guide down below, but even that may not help you. You have been warned. Hey, Rob here, and welcome to one of the most requested videos of the last three months, at least for the XD station anyway. It's how to put Skelton's Legacy ROM on the GPD XD, an easy guide. Now, why would you want to do this? Number one, it provides root access for you. Root access allows you to basically install what you want, how you want. Now, the danger of this, of course, is reduced security by a whole lot. I'm going to do a video one of these days about what root access really is and what it means to you. But that's not for today, but needless to say, be careful where you install from because any application can gain full control of your device after you have root access. Enough about that. Number two, gets rid of the Mali driver. The Mali driver is a 3D driver for Android. It doesn't perform so hot on the Rock chip chipset that this particular guy uses, specifically under the Saturn emulator. And that's one of the things I want to address. I want Saturn emulation to run better. So it gets rid of that. Um, number three, removes all the junkware, pretty much. I mean, it really is a pretty bare bones version of the Android operating system. So you lose that like fancy schmancy GPD interface that's put on there, but what you gain is uh, it's basically a faster, cleaner system. Remember, you'll have to add everything afterwards though. Uh, finally, there is built-in overclocking. Uh, you can choose a speed basically, and once you install that image, it's running at that speed. I'll give you some warnings about that when I'm uh, installing it. So, still interested? Well, I think we should probably get going. You've already read the warning, right? Please, make sure, or watch the warning. Alright, let's get going. On to the desktop. Okay, before I get started, I want to give you one last warning. Everything on your GPD XD will be wiped out by this process. Everything except for stuff that's on your external SD card. You can keep ROMs and things there and they will be fine. However, your interface will be different and there will be a lot of functional differences on this new GPD XD firmware that you did not have before. So be prepared for that. If you don't want to change things, you definitely don't want to do this procedure. All right. So first thing you need to do is open up your browser of choice and go to boards.dingunity.org slash all this crap. It is, of course, the first link down below in the description. You are going to go down to these downloads here. I'm going to go past all this crap. Here is the null version downloads, and this is what you want. You do not want this Mali version because one of the things we're trying to do is not use the Mali driver which is, of course, that 3D driver I was talking about earlier, which causes problems with the Sega Saturn. Since I want to have Saturn emulation run nice, I don't want the Mali driver. So these don't have that. There's three versions, 1.8, 1.6, 1.4. If you are currently overclocking, well, it's not really overclocking because really it's meant to run at 1.8. But anyway, if you are currently running at 1.8 gigahertz, it should be fine to download this one. However, if you do not know or have never run it at 1.8 or 1.6 or any of these others, I highly recommend you download Legacy ROM 1.4 gigahertz edition. Reason being, you've got root, you can always change the speed upwards to 1.8, and if it messes up and you reboot, it will be fine. But if you download the 1.8, well, you're kind of hosed, aren't you? Because it's always going to be running at 1.8. 
All right. That warning's been given. So if you don't know, download the 1.4 and feel free to just download a uh, pro e to speed up your processor. Now, I'm going to click right here and it will download immediately. And what you will get is a RAR file. If you're not familiar with RAR, you can go to rarlab.com and you can download this lovely trial version of WinRAR. Don't worry, it will be enough to unzip it. Um, you can download actually this 32 or 64 bit version. I'm gonna assume that since it's 2017, when I'm recording this, that you probably are a 64 bit OS, so you should be able to download the 64 bit. Uh, if you don't know how to actually install that, I'm a little worried about whether you should be doing this, but uh, basically you double click on the program and it will install itself. This isn't the hardest procedure in the world. All right, so you've downloaded it. Click, download. It is now in your downloads directory. Of course, I downloaded it earlier, so it's already there. Here's legacy ROM. I've installed WinRAR, so I'm going to extract to a folder. All right, so you have unzipped or unrard, sorry, your legacy ROM XD18. You're going to go into that directory, take a look real quick, make sure XD legacy 18 image is there. You're going to need that RK batch tool. You're going to need, and finally the RK driver installer. All right, looking at the driver install XA. You want to make sure that it's got that little shield down there. That means it's going to run as admin. I'm going to double click on that and the screen will go blank and it will ask me a question. It will be, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? And I want to answer yes, because I need to do that. Now we've got the RK driver assistant running. We will hit install driver. Boom. Now your GPD XD can be recognized by your computer. I'm going to go up a folder real quick. Next, um, note I have an HDMI cable on here, but you don't, you probably won't have that connected. So that's fine. Make sure that your device is currently off. Plug USB, micro USB into your GPDXD and the other end into your PC, USB 2 or 3 port. Chances are, if you bought your computer within the last decade, you have those. At that point, you will probably get this battery symbol. So you want to hit the button and hold it until the battery symbol turns off. Oops. Did not do what I wanted it to. Off. <sighs> off. Off, I say. Turn it. Off. <laughs> There we go. Now it's off. All right. So now I've choked it off. Anyway, what you really want it to be is absolutely off without that charging symbol on there. Next, you will hold the power supply button, the power button, and the plus button. That is the volume up button at the same time, and you will hold it. And you hear that little tone? That means it has been recognized and you should probably see a light, a little red, oh, you can't see it in here, but this, oh yeah, there it is, little red lights on, but the screen's blank. Let go of the buttons. At this point, your GPD is recognized by the computer. How do I know this? Well, we go into the RK batch tool, run it, and you should see one connected device and that is your GPD XD. Things get easy from here. You're over the hump. Hit the browse button. It runs from the directory it's in, so your XD legacy image should be right there. You're going to open it. All looks good here. All right. And now you are going to hit the upgrade button. This is it. This is your last chance to pull out. Now it's downloading the firmware. Worried yet? You should be. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's easy stuff. It's kid stuff. Dum, 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 dum. 
has a pretty good testing ability on it, so you shouldn't have any problems. As a note, there is another way to do this without your PC. You could just drop the ROM on there and run it from the GPD itself. It used to be my favorite way of doing it, but I've heard of a lot of problems specifically with the GPD XD doing that, so I do it this way from the PC. It's just a little bit safer. But generally, it's kind of funny because generally I recommend doing it the other way without the PC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now it's checking the firmware. It better all pass. By the way, if for whatever reason you get a not pass on this, do nothing until you get this to succeed. You can redo it. You can re-upgrade it. You can even change the ROM and re-upgrade it again. But do not let this thing go until you get success one, fail zero, okay? And I, I'm not going to save the log. <laughs> Force a habit. All right. So now we have a successful upgrade. Exit. Look at that. I now have a battery symbol. I'm going to detach the XD now from this cable. And let's bring it on screen here. up a little bit. And we'll bring it online. Right now what it's getting is a message that it is erasing. That should have come up on screen. Sorry about that. There we go. Now it's <laughs> now it's just a big blarb on screen. Um, that is not what it's doing on screen. Kind of surprised it's not doing that right. But anyway, here it is. Sorry, I got green screen. The Android is green and it is performing an update function. And now we got the legacy ROM boot screen. Ugh. I have to change that back. <laughs> Not a huge fan of that. Bum, 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 bum. First time setup takes a while, by the way, so don't freak out if this is taking a long time. There we go. Welcome. Make yourself at home. Um, not now. And there we go. Uh, by the way, this bar down here is my uh, Windows 10. Bring that out a little bit further. There we go. Legacy ROM. Nice and basic. And installed on your machine. Uh, later on, we'll probably cover some other topics like how to uh, install some goodies on it, lock the screen, do some basic setup. But uh, you now have the Legacy ROM installed. Congratulations. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you have any recommendations or something you want to see, let me know down at the contact information down below. But of course, you can always get me at rob at guysgamesandbeer.net. Thanks.
Retro Rocks Gaming Videos.